Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Hulk in the area. Oh, Hulk's on his way. All right, we're not gonna be able to take advantage of this. Let's uh, make a note. Three M4s. Unfortunately, we didn't even have enough ammo in here to help us out too much. I do want to scoot my way down there, but I'm going to check what these endpoints are over here first. Still hoping to get a radio tower. So, shooting range. Only casings in sight. And one more. This is going to be a uh, trailhead. Oh, an evac shelter. We can use an evac shelter. Okay, ditch the M4, ditch the food. Looted. No first aid kits. <laughs> My body's straining again. Um, I don't think it's even worth jumping up onto the roof. Shift V will show bullet amount? Since when will Shift V show bullet amount? I don't remember Shift V showing bullet amount. Shift V does not show bullet amount. <laughs> no way to see bullet amount remotely. Nothing's going to show you how much ammo this thing has. Nah, we haven't seen a single pharmacy yet. Trying to get a look at uh, this city. Uh, let's go south. Where are you guys going? Hmm. Guess we'll try to get south faster than they're going. And we're going to dead end. Damn it. Well, I guess we're going to go through the city. I got no other cities nearby. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. Let's wreck our vehicle again. Actually, no zombies have come at me. We got an apartment tower and a house. Is it time to finally abuse apartment towers? Oh, giant wasps, wasp guards. <laughs> Guess I should. Hey, there's my sneakers. I'm not going back for them though. Hmm. Scared to death of those things. I could avoid this grappler zombie. Oh, there's an ambulance. Middle box. 
Middle box. Uh, it would be better if I stopped here, then ran up, checked it, and then came back again without bringing the vehicle forward and attracting the noise from up there. So, I got Grappler Zombie to spoof. I could try going into the town hall and then out here. Uh, nothing can see me currently. Alternatively, I... Oh, is that a shock zombie in the front of the ambulance? It is a shock zombie in the front of the ambulance. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's just not making things easy this run. If I stop and I bail to the west, I can check this duplex or house out real quick. He might get stacked up against the back of the vehicle. Yeah, let's, uh... Oh, more zombies. Oh, shock zombies running at me. Well, that's less convenient. So I want to draw all of these guys to me while I go through here, up here, and then try to come out again. Keep them down here, preferably. Speed 82. So again, I'm moving super slow. We're going to get in shock range anytime. Hopefully I can gain some stamina right here. Alright, we got our stamina back. Now the goal is to not attract all of that attention. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, this is not going well. I'm gonna have a double the time just surviving this, just to just to have a chance to look into one. Ambulance. Now I'm thinking it might be better if I just go straight back across, beeline for my truck, run up. I just, I'm not going to gain enough distance because I'll have to hop out and then check it and then get back in again. And I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, smoker zombie. Who knows what's in that cone of smoke behind him? It was saying it? Ah, alright. I must have been looking on the wrong part of the screen. Is it in the description area? When I actually point the detailer on it? Uh, I don't want to try to climb. Oh, they're so fast. Alright, we gotta make the run now. I'm going to end up with a shock zombie right adjacent to me. <laughs> oh, we're so done. Oh, it got bad so fast. Let's see. Last couple of times I've had people in these positions, they've gotten run over when I started moving. Oh, of course the shocker's the exception. <laughs> Why is he the exception? Uh... Let's see. I can't get rid of him. Yeah, we're going to die to a shocker. And the whole crowd of other stuff. Alright, well this one went pretty horribly wrong. I just have no way of killing this guy or avoiding him. And if I stop the vehicle to try to get him out, we're going to get uh, either wasps or more zombies. And we're already down to uh, super low speed. <laughs> we've got the cascading strength problem so my strength has dropped so much that the gear I'm wearing has made me uh, uh, super overburdened <laughs> so our current speed is 25 so we're moving at one quarter speed 
Let's see. Let's let's go 28 that direction. Ah, <laughs> dead already. <laughs> yeah, this one's going great. Yeah, I was hoping we would dislodge him when I hit the vehicle, but it didn't happen. I just uh, timed it wrong. I timed it very, very wrong. And the speed of the character. He's just so hampered when we're dead tired. And uh, I didn't check if dead tired dropped my strength another point, and I might have been overburdened the entire time. So if I was going to try something like that, it would have been better to ditch the chainmail. Okay, uh, we're going to say, let's see, we are done. I just want to double check something. So I'm going to, we're going to bail out of this. Yeah, we're going to bail out of this. Do, do, do. The run is over, but I want to double check something. I am apparently missing information that I should be not missing. So we'll load back in wherever the last autosave was. I just want to go double check that gun mag info thing. Apparently I'm not looking in the right part of the screen. It's important information to have. Hey, look, we're right in the right spot. So am I supposed to be looking down? Ah, right there's where I'm supposed to be looking. I see. I've always been looking up here. I've never actually looked down here. I didn't think it would show any different information. So I can go there. All right, that's helpful. I wasn't aware it actually showed different information down here. So that one there is the one I wanted. 28. Good little hidden information to know about. All right, now we are going to uh, quit on out. World, bookmobile, reset. And we're already on the third. I don't know. Am I being hurt or helped by the golf course? I'm still undecided. I've done this start a few times. And while it's usually quiet and you have a chance at the golf bag, you do get started out usually away from cities. But it's, it's not really preventing me from finding cities fairly quickly. Especially when we have the badge that's going to give us the map. But so far, carry capacity hasn't really been the issue. I just don't want to start in a city. If I pick most of these other ones, it's going to put me inside of a city, likely, and I'll have a devil of a time getting my... wherever it puts my semi. I'll have a devil of a time getting moving, if I even manage it. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the golf course start. The vehicle is the one hampering, if any? Um, no. <laughs> Unless I start, like I said, in a city and happen to see a uh, pharmacy within the view range. That would be about the only other thing. But this character has no combat skills, no movement abilities, starts infected, has a glass jaw, bad back, and so on. It's going to be a nightmare to keep this person alive within a city to begin with. At least with the vehicle, I can travel. I can use it to knock open the back doors of pharmacies if I ever do find one. I can just crash it through the wall to grab the medicine and then try to take off again. It gives me a lot of options. It gives me a lot of uh, variability. But the complete lack of combat ability, the automatically lowered speed, um, and all the other negatives this guy's got. Plus, I'm playing on... Uh, evol high evolution, so we've got 60 days of evolution already occurring uh, when we step into the world. So, oh, I agree with you on the noise. <laughs> I totally agree. Well, it's a blessing and a curse. I mean, I can use it somewhat for the Pied Piper routine, but it has been hampering me somewhat. But once I became aware of the issue, I can mitigate it somewhat. But yeah, I'd be much happier even in a little vehicle. I mean, I might actually switch if I find like a solar vehicle. We've had some luck ramming solar vehicles into walls. <laughs> Rumple like tissue paper, but it'll work. But um, yeah, the, the we'll, we'll stick with the trucker unless we uh, 
we actually randomly come across a vehicle. So I need the trucker start for other things. All right, we got one golf bag. No fitted gloves. I can't see the back corner one. <laughs> of course they're the fitted one. Strength six. Can I move a shelf with strength six? A display rack? Apparently I can. Uh-oh. Who's, who's hitting what? Where is their hitting going on? A pencil. Pencil with no graphite. Some popcorn. Don't care. I guess we should look at our map. Um, yeah, that's that's not good. Light industry. Gonna have zombies. Might get some tools. But again, that's not terribly critical. All right, we got a smasher. We'll take the smasher. Uh, spawn item. Transport employee badge. We're supposed to start with one of these in the, the box here, but for some reason, my version is not doing it. So by activating it, we get a map. So we do not have an easy way out to this open area to get to these. All we can go is south. That's not bad, I guess. One end point. Then uh, straight into a big city, which is not ideal. Especially if it's forest all the way to the edge. Restricts my movement heavily. But uh, we can't go anywhere else. <laughs> we're we're kind of wedged in. I didn't find any fire making ability, so I can't just burn a hole through the forest here to get up into this area. Let's look for facilities again. I'm assuming it'll actually show me a facility on the map. If there is one. Test map I created uh, when I was starting this and just looking into some things. I had two facilities within sight of each other. They were like 10 spaces apart. I wonder if it uh, just shows me like one block, the entry point of the facility, kind of like a refugee center. I'm not seeing a facility again. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's try again. Third try. And again, we have a, a body site right nearby. Another lab site. Internal climate control. Uh, regular boots. And a couple of wallets. Oh, they're right here. I don't think I see anything that looks dangerous to me. Apparently scientists were... Uh, Doing their thing on the golf course. Insert ID card, cash card. That's all I want from you. Actually, golf club is a pretty good uh, bash weapon. 86 moves per attack, 14 bash plus one to hit. Yeah, let's uh, let's take that instead. This is what, 12 plus one at 90? <laughs> it's not that much better, and this actually has block ability. Hmm. No blocking with a golf club. Ah, eh, we'll keep the pipe. Where 
Where was the other... North of me. North of me. Visitor pass. ID card. I'm not going to worry about that one. Stuff to use much later if we survive. No wheels in the racing car. Don't need a fire extinguisher, thanks. zombie population with these now metal tongs and sandpaper for this side it's this and this lockers right here where I can get stuff possibly see how many things come rushing out of here oh this is the kitchen nope different side Nothing in the bathrooms usually. Nah, Hack Pro. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen Hack Pro. Bubble wrap. The ultimate defense. Uh, the machinery looks interesting. Copper tubing. Yeah, I don't have anything to open the uh, crates with, do I? I have a multi-tool, but that's not enough. Not much over here other than uh, possibly some books. I need to get to the other side. Surprised there were no zombies there. Hey there, End Arthur. I could do the crowbar, but uh, mostly what's going to be in here is concrete mixers and things like that. That's not the kind of stuff I need. So if we don't find anything over here, maybe I'll pop one open. Giant frogs. Why are there no zombies here? Ooh, centipedes. They no centipedes! Don't come this way! <laughs> what do these guys got super sensitive hearing to? What the hell, game? That was a long way away those guys were starting to run at me from. Here I wanted to go investigate my light industry quietly. Oh, now they got all timid. I'm still not sure why there's no... No zombies here, and there's supposed to be zombie population here. So it did, did come with a van. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Faulty engine. Uh, there's a gas jackhammer. I mean, that gives us some options. A wrench. Of course, it's heavier than I can carry.
Let's see. Fortunately, that's going to be about it for the tools. Yeah, I'm a little puzzled at the uh, the lack of zombies. Chemistry for kids. I guess we'll grab some books while we're here. Can't spend too much time here, though. Got some root beer. <laughs> Stylish corrective sunglasses. Or nearsighted? Nearsighted, even. Look at that. Take off eyeglasses, wear corrective sunglasses. time remembering most of the things I see I'm not used to the, the graphics yeah we'll just stick the stuff back here for now um I can't even I don't think I can even make the crowbar I don't have a hammer yet do I yeah oh I do have hammering but I, the pipe is providing the hammering so I need a second pipe Mass of zombie spiders. Okay, let's climb that, smash that, and that. That's not how you spell that. Whatever. So, we have the crowbar. Good old low strength. Here's the concrete mixer. <laughs> uh, strength six. I don't think I can move this without hurting myself. Yeah. So, if you weren't aware... If I had some nails, I could seal the crate. You can pry it open and then reseal it, pry it open and reseal it, pry it open and reseal it. It's one of the ways to get mechanics from zero to one. Just find one of these crates, open it, seal it, open it, seal it. Easier ways with a vehicle nowadays, but that's one of the options. Um, anything else? Machinery, more book possibilities. Oh yeah, I have uh, I have cash. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Eh, me all of it. We got a sweet tooth. Why not? Energy drink, water, juice, tea. <laughs> Lighter with zero. Survivor note. Oh, doesn't activate. Just got to read it. The eye, it watches me. It follows me everywhere. Help. Yeah, it's really weird this doesn't have any, any uh, zombies. Let's head south. <laughs> More centipedes. Uh, are we curious? Yeah, I'm curious. What do we got? Gonna be a useless trailhead or a rural house? 
Serving interface area. Don't need that. Uh, I want to say... I always forget which one this is. I don't think it's one that's going to help me, though. Let's go right away over towards the, the city. See if our two pharmacies right on the outskirts are waiting for us. A whole bunch of zombies. At least we got a little bit of room between the forest and the city area. It's a bit of a welcoming party. Big old apartment complex right on the outskirts. I actually might be able to use that. Let's uh, let's try to pull these guys back out in a way. I'll circle back and see if I can get into that apartment tower and we can climb to the roof. Take a look around. Hey guys. Ugh, I gotta hate, I hate it when I have a combination of slow and fast enemies. Looks like so far at least we have a fairly open area. I might be able to scoot down and Take a look at a few things, but if I can get to the top of this and get a good look, that would save me so much hassle of driving. Even if it cost me a bunch of hit points. Hey wild pigs, do you... oh, they're gonna run away. Turkeys. Alright, let's uh, try to do the loop around. Nope. <laughs> it's even worse now. Hmm. Try this one more time. unnecessary What do you think? Any chance we can get down there? Swat zombie between me and there. Flavoring biter the other side. That's a long way to get to without the vehicle. And I got more stuff running right at the southern edge. Hmm. Uh, I'm tempted to roll down this way first. See what other opportunities I have before I try to make a run in here. Because this could be a <laughs> we're dead situation it's rough playing a highly evolved game with a character with no no survival skills <laughs> no no movement abilities no combat abilities not even counting the negatives for the uh, the infection yeah let's pull this guy back with us Tempted to run them over just to get some SWAT armor. 
I missed my chain mail. An HK four seventeen A two plus one. <laughs> okay. Now I just need lots of ammo. Keep forgetting I've got the uh, got the golf bag. I gotta get that second door closed. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and loop down. Do a little more investigating before I pull the trigger on trying to climb that tower. I've had terrible luck trying to get into houses too. Normally, I've got my my really difficult world settings on double zombies, and I'm I'm still able to find houses occasionally. I can pop into. We haven't had any of those opportunities this time, partly due to the fact that we're got this loud vehicle so we're, we're pulling zombies from further away than I'm used to but this would be an example I just have to adapt so I might go get into that house far so good what do we got bacon we have won we're the winners and a zombie runner <laughs> a little tiny sliver of sight and the zombie runners coming through the window already i can't even get to the bathroom to check to see if it's got uh antiseptic I'm going for the bathroom anyway. Oh, look at this. Look at this opportunity. I mean, antibi anti <laughs> antibiotics, not antiseptic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See? Game's easy. You just got to die, restart, die, restart, die, restart, die, restart, and you get your item. See? It's it's simple. That's all that all, all it takes. So simple. <laughs> of course, that's not the broad spectrum. That's not going to guarantee our survival. That's just uh, the mid-level antibiotics. I fairly often die with mid-level antibiotics in my system. But it's better than we've managed previously, so yay. Uh, let's get moving first, then I'll take it. I want this guy yammering onto my vehicle. Looking like my stroll down the edge of the town is about to come to a halt. Yep. So, all we've got that we have in sight is, uh, unfortunately, residential. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to... I mean, yeah, it does add some time, but it adds time on the back end. <laughs> where you're already super dead, exhausted, tired, and you've got all those negatives you're dealing with, and so on. We'll take one. So we have now took antibiotic. 12 hours. So our choices are grab some food and water and go sit somewhere and see if we survive it. That's an option. We do have a little bit of food and water stock stockpiled already. Or we put our life further at risk trying to smash our way into a pharmacy to try to get... Uh, Broad spectrum antibiotics. Or I'm, we're playing on 50% uh, item drop rate, so the chances that I A, manage to survive getting to a pharmacy are pretty bad, and B, even if I manage to get there, that it's going to have the broad spectrum uh, is, is, is could happen, but it's lower. So, yeah, we got regular antibiotics. There is narrow spectrum, which is the worst. There is antibiotics, which is the middle. And there is broad spectrum, which used to be called Destragon. 
that's the near instant heal. If you get broad spectrum, you I, I've never seen it not cure the infection within an hour or two. Anything else is a pretty still a pretty big coin flip on whether you're gonna live or not. I think a wiser turn this time would be to keep our good condition on our vehicle. And if we've got some maneuvering options, just keep traveling while we've got the regular antibiotics in our system. And uh, not run through the city. Let's pull north, see if we can get that other location sighted in. What are you? Motel? You're not a railroad. Yeah, motel. Okay. Um, let's head back. Actually, which which kind of motel? The not having a pool kind of motel. So we'll play this one a little more cautious. We'll do the "Am I going to die?" game. When uh, we were, we, we took antibiotics one hour into the challenge. <laughs> so, this is, does have a house. We could use this, we could hang around here. It's isolated, we're not gonna have many zombies. We've got, uh, we got water. I'm the silo first. All right, farm, farm, farm. Westmoreland. Nothing obvious that's useful other than, you know, a library love to get some books if we're gonna hang tight for a while we did grab some but i didn't check to see which ones we can actually use to uh do some skilling while we're waiting to die of the infection stop it <laughs> So, we get a little bit of chemistry. Applied science to three, and uh, piercing to one. So, not much. And we definitely won't be able to read that one. Maybe we'll get some books inside here. hot sauce and some flour all right not much here no books so basically be a place to lie lay our head uh let's see so we've got a pot to boil I've got plastic bottles, no gallon jugs, junk food. Yeah, we're we're not quite self-sufficient yet. I have nothing in the basket up here. Hmm. This one doesn't have any buildings, plus it's got... <laughs> is, that, is that a bridge or is that a Mego? <laughs> that is a bridge. 
Nice bridge. Uh, this one, we do have another option to... Uh, oh, it's the grape farm. Never mind. That's going to have zombies. All right, let's, let's head over to Westmoreland. We'll kind of putter around and take a look at the local buildings, and we might go south a little bit. I might pull back to this location, though. But I'd like a little more, uh, a little more stuff before we try to camp and wait out the infection. those fancy bikes again. Not much of new interest has shown up. Yeah, why do all the bikes get color? <laughs> all the bikes look cool. All the vehicles are this gunmetal gray. So, we got the river running along the edge. That's going to be... Yeah, there's going to be nothing in this town but the library, really. Giant slug. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good good slug picture. Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky and there won't be any zombies at the the gray. Oh, nope, there's zombies. And a crack. What kind of body say? Ooh, an ice axe. Nice. I like ice axes. 24 bash, 8 cut for 80 moves per attack. <laughs> Terrible to hit bonus. Everything else is pretty pretty crazy. That's a whole lot of bash and cut for 80 moves per attack and still having medium block. Plus it gives you the two prying. So, and the two hammering. Yeah, we'll grab us an ice axe. Mess kit also useful for our current circumstance. Um, tennis shoes. Not great tennis shoes, but. Alright, so the crack's gonna keep the first zombie occupied. The bloated zombie inside's gonna break out and come this way too, though. Uh, let's see. What do we wanna deal with this? Crack's on the run. Other zombies are going north. Whoa, the crack won! <laughs> crack won! It's so seldom I see the crack actually win the fight. He didn't even take a hit. Look at that. Crack in beast mode. And there's a giant wasp up north. No! <laughs> Damn it. Where's my ice axe? Alright, I need you to go away, crack. Come on, Crack. Follow me if you're going to follow me. Ah, look at this. <laughs> it was. It's hard for you to keep an eye on them. Can I introduce the Crack? Will Cracks and Wasps fight? Yes, they will. Is the crack going to instantly die? Yeah. If I die to this wasp, I'm going to get so annoyed. No. No, don't die from the vehicle. <laughs> Damn it. Get control. Stop. Now let go. I want my ice axe and my tanny shoes. Mess kit. 
Then I want to know where the wasp is. Alright, they chased... Uh, not quite off the screen. Look at that. What the hell? Krex can handle giant wasps? Just me that dies constantly to the giant wasps? Ideally, the giant wasp has killed everything up here. And then stays to the south. <laughs> That's what's going to happen is I'm going to come out of this building and it's going to be right in my face and I'm going to die. Myself, I can't carry much. What do we have? The multi tool and the wrench. So we got the hammering ability off the ice axe. Multi tool is giving me screw driving and fine screw driving, low level bolt turning. Alright. So we got most of the real early basics covered. Um, let's see. I'm not going to go out front. Mostly I want to check bathroom. Hydrogen peroxide, some painkillers, multivitamins for the copious amounts of bleeding I plan to do. A towel. Should probably grab some soap. It wasn't too bad. Light gloves, I think. Light gloves are better. 5%, 5 better coverage, but less protection. Both don't conduct electricity. Um, and the golf gloves are close to skin. Actually, I could wear them both for minimal. Yeah, let's wear them both. Still only four. So yeah, that's that's a good deal. Forgot the golfing gloves are close to skin, whereas the light gloves are the normal layer, so we're not getting any overlap. The two encumbrance each. That'll work. Cracks do not evolve. I am not aware of any evolution for cracks. Uh, I should grab a pillow and a blanket. Pet pack. Uh, the poor Zentai. Used to always grab the Zentai because it had uh, pretty good protection. But uh, once they did the rework on protection or the type of material being used, <laughs> it dropped quite a bit. But it's another one of those rare close to the skin, all body parts. Used to be one protection. Pretty good stuff. But it's too warm now. Or the protection it gives. More hydrogen peroxide. Hey, first aid kits. And that's it. Another root beer. Um, what's the eight volume? No. I want downfill blankets. I just want a standard blanket. Taylor's kit. I mean, fun stuff. Assuming we survive. Alcohol, and that is it. I didn't get a single regular blanket, huh? There we go. Wait, 15 vol- uh, uh, is it 25 on the other one? 
Maybe it's 25 on the other one. No, 15 there too. All right. Whatever. Not overweight yet. Uh, some way to make fire would be nice. <laughs> Another pretty important thing that we don't have. How's the alcohol doing? Fruit wine. Smart lamp. And I'm sure. That's it. Hmm. If the wa if we didn't have that wasp in the area, I'd consider using this place. But I don't think there's a water source unless I go find one in the forest area nearby. Oh, ditch those. Hey, Gray Matter. Thanks for dropping a gift sub. Rough Rapaz. Grats, Rough Rapaz. Alright, we dropped the H and K up front. And much space 25 all right that's what i needed so blanket and pillow whoops yeah pillow antiseptic yes gauze yes bandages all right so we got the start of some medical gear. At least we uh, don't have to worry about further infections. Uh, we've got the basic tools covered. Don't have a good weapon, but we're still in avoidance mode. And I didn't get any food or water, really. Very little. But the ice axe is helpful. All right, let's keep, to, uh, keep tooling around, I think. So my map runs out right there. The map continues, of course. Or the, the the actual game map continues. Just my mapped area will stop. I guess there's not really a reason for us to not just keep traveling. Oh, we're dead tired now. <laughs> That's one potential problem. Apparently, I busted my my inboard mirror. Another body sight. Mostly dead zombies. Hey, screwdriver set. I do want that. Actually, it doesn't give me anything beyond what I have already. Unless later I want to make the, uh, which I never do anymore. So yeah, I guess I don't need the screwdriver set. I haven't swapped out my footwear yet either. Hey, sneakers. And some clean water and a lot of wallets. Hmm. what I need to do is I need to just back up. I need to face them and then back up. That way they always keep me in visual. <laughs> I can just stop moving, let them get close, then back up. And the beeper will keep them occupied. Swoop back, see what we can grab. Whoops. E a lot of a lot of bodies in this site. Science ID card? This wasn't a science site. Hey, 
Didn't seem like one anyway. Ooh, doctor's badge. That'll come in handy later. I didn't notice that one. Yeah, sure doesn't look like a science site. I get so many cards. I'll only leave without the without the badge. Oh, no, no, no wallet here. Westmoreland handwritten note. You gonna tell me where there's a lab in Westmoreland? Cause that'd be okay. It'd be it'd be amenable. Doctor's badge. Okay, I think that's it. Six science ID cards, five visitors passes. <laughs> uh, let's activate that note. I'm curious, what are you gonna tell me? You add the hidden stations to your map. So where the hell is Westmoreland? Oh, town we just came from. Uh, is it showing me that? What, what's it showing me? I'm not sure what it's showing me. I thought it was supposed to identify um, labs, but I'm on Z2 here and there's no, or negative two. There's nothing listed other than the, uh, the one subway station, which is not <laughs> where I can get to. So I think we got, uh, unfortunately, nothing. that and that that okay I see we're still still infected Do subways usually have a lot of Zeds? Uh, the subways I've seen recently have had a lot of Migos. <laughs> Rudely. Migos and soldiers and interdimensional stuff. I don't know. Why are there no zombies in the light industries? <laughs> it's bugging me. There's supposed to be a zombie population in these things. What has broken that the zombie population in the light industries are, are no longer there? Hedge trimmer. There's a screwdriver set. <laughs> but I don't need it. Concrete mixer. Metallic smoother. And uh, what? Alright, somebody's been fiddling. 1200 gas. I didn't notice that on the other gas, the jackhammer I picked up. So, what's the charges per use? Did they fiddle with that? Do we no longer get 40 uses out of a full gas tank? It just says charges 950 out of 1200, but what's the per use? Hmm. I guess I could take it and I could jackhammer something <laughs> and find out.
There we go. Now we can we can survive for an extended period of time. <laughs> we have all of the candies. Let's just hold the enter key down. Oh, you're not gonna let me pick them all up. Well, you will. I'll just be overweight. Rotten cracklins, my favorite. Let's have cookies, some pretzels, some milk balls, some peanuts, a chocolate bar, chocolate drink, and oh, I guess a sports drink. So we're still overweight. I'm still holding the jackhammer. Um. Yeah, I just didn't notice the uh, the 1200 there previously. All right, let's uh let's jackhammer something. Make some noise. How about this wall right here? So we're at 950. Now we are at ooh, 650. They massively massively reduced it. <laughs> Instead of 40 uses, it's four uses. <laughs> oh, wow, is that a change? Well, okay then. That's quite the shift. I guess somebody didn't like the electric jackhammer constantly being denigrated by that Yahoo named Vormithrax. <laughs> so they brought the gas jackhammer down to the electrical jackhammer's uh, usage range. Spite. Just for spite. Okay, there you go, kids. You got four uses in your fully uh, gassed up jackhammer now. Uh, let's see. I think what we need to do before I finish doing that other stuff. I need to put a save in and, uh, and stop. So we're a little over my normal time. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to stop right here. We got a good spot. We're, uh, we're in okay condition. We might survive. Uh, we're gonna have to hold up at some point because the dead tired status will go exhausted and so on So we'll have to sleep, but um, I just need to whip together a quick blindfold and Then we can sleep in the vehicle or we'll pick a building or something and then we'll ride it out So that's gonna be it for now though. Thanks for watching everybody greatly appreciated I will uh, be back tomorrow with something. I'm not sure what yet I'm making some changes to what I do how I do it what I'm playing and all that kind of stuff so I will uh, let you know as soon as I can. Hope to see you then. Have a great evening. Let's go. Uh, let's go see if there's somebody I can inflict you upon. Who is deserving of infliction? Uh, no. And uh, do, 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 do. I got nobody on my list that I am going to inflict you upon. So no 